Have you ever pondered the complexity of colorectal cancer and its implications? It's a question that may seem daunting, but understanding this disease is crucial. Colorectal cancer, in essence, is a type of cancer that initiates in the colon or rectum. It's a serious condition, and unfortunately, it ranks as the third most common cancer on a global scale. What makes this disease particularly challenging is its ability to stay hidden. Early detection, therefore, plays a pivotal role in improving outcomes. A key part of this is understanding the risk factors. Age is one, with the disease more common in people over 50. Family history is another, as people with close relatives who've had the disease are more likely to develop it. Certain genetic syndromes also increase risk, so there's no denying the seriousness of colorectal cancer, but understanding it is the first step towards defeating it. Now that we understand what colorectal cancer is, let's delve into how surgery can help. Surgery plays a pivotal role in treating colorectal cancer, but how does it help? Well, let's dive into it. For earlier stage colorectal cancers, surgery often takes the lead as the main form of treatment. It's like a strategic strike at the heart of enemy territory. The goal? To remove the cancerous cells and put a stop to their destructive march. Here's how it works. The surgeon, armed with years of training and experience, removes not just the cancer, but also a small amount of surrounding healthy tissue. This is called a margin. The reason behind this strategy is simple, it's to make sure no cancer cells have been left behind. You see, cancer is a cunning adversary, often hiding among healthy cells. By taking a little extra tissue, doctors aim to outsmart it, reducing the chances of it coming back. But what happens if the cancer has already spread? Well, that's where more extensive surgeries come into play. In such cases a larger portion of the colon or rectum or even other organs may need to be removed. This may sound daunting but remember, the goal is to eliminate as much of the cancer as possible to give you the best chance of recovery. Now it's also worth noting that surgery isn't just used to treat colorectal cancer. Sometimes it's used to help relieve symptoms. For instance, if a tumor is causing pain or blocking the colon or rectum, surgery can help alleviate that discomfort. It's all about improving quality of life, even if the cancer itself can't be completely removed. So, while it's true that surgery is invasive and yes, it does come with risks, it's also a powerful tool in the fight against colorectal cancer. It's a calculated move, a strategic counterattack against a formidable opponent. It's not the only tool in the arsenal but it's often the first line of defense. Surgery, while invasive, can be a powerful tool in the fight against colorectal cancer. There are several key points to keep in mind about colorectal cancer surgery. First, let's look at the types of surgeries. One method is a local excision, which is used when cancer is found in the early stages. This procedure involves removing the cancer along with a small amount of surrounding tissue. Another type is a colectomy, where part or all of the colon is removed. If the entire colon is taken out, the surgery is called a total colectomy. If only part is removed, it's known as a partial colectomy. Sometimes a colostomy might be necessary. This procedure creates an opening, or stoma, in the abdominal wall. The end of the colon is brought through this opening to allow waste to exit the body. This can be temporary or permanent depending on the individual's condition. Now let's move on to the potential risks and complications. As with any surgery, there are risks involved, such as bleeding and infection. There can also be complications related to anesthesia, blood clots, and damage to nearby organs. It's crucial to discuss these risks with your medical team to prepare for any possible outcomes. The recovery process after colorectal cancer surgery varies from person to person. It depends on factors like the type of surgery, the person's overall health, and how well they follow post-operative care instructions. It's common to feel tired and to have pain for a few days after the operation. Eating a balanced diet, getting enough rest, and gradually increasing physical activity can help speed up the recovery process. Finally, follow-up care and regular screenings are essential for maintaining health and detecting any signs of cancer recurrence. This usually involves periodic checkups with your doctor, including physical examinations and medical tests. Colorectal cancer surgery, while complex, offers hope to many patients and understanding it can demystify the process and provide